Insert fire dumpers. Before inserting fire dumpers, you should know that uh, to insert fire dumpers, you should run interference check, map host element types to duct accessories, and then insert fire dumpers. So let's begin. First step read inter run interference check data so i have walls and ducts here so i use ducts in one side walls in the other side i click ok and i export those clashes to external html file then i'm going to cut opening solution i'm going to the configurations tab and i'm using map host element types to duct accessories here you will find all categories where fire dumpers could be added so i have walls so i will filtrate them i have wall types if you will have fire rating you will see that here as well we have to map our element to the wall type so i will use those two wall types exterior or okay let's let's do that the interior walls i will map that to the fire damper from my project from the families that have been loaded into the project i'm clicking ok and now i mapped all uh, the walls with ducts to uh, to know the places where the fire damper should be inserted the next step you should go to the create modify tab and use insert update fire dampers you should read the x html file that you have saved before from revit you will get report about that so we have no mapping data for two kinds of the walls for two categories uh, so for those two and the other are mapped right now so i can use next and i have all the ducts and the walls that will have fire dumpers uh, in this model so let's click ok and you will see how the fire dampers will be distributed automatically so i have 18 fire dampers distributed let's review the model do we have okay i will change the discipline and as you can see here we have the fire dumpers here we have the fire dumpers here we have the fire dumpers and in those two walls we do not have fire dumpers so that's how easy you can distribute fire dumpers in your needed places in revit using cut opening software